air. 12 News reporter Jordan James has been in Port Natchez all day. He's sharing more information about the debris people are finding. With the evacuation order being lifted, folks across Mid County are returning to their homes and many of them have discovered debris from this explosion here at TPC plant and it's raising some concern. A lot of our daily activity is going outside to play. Rebecca Creel is a mother of three who also homeschools her children. Debris from the TPC explosion has forced her to make changes at home. Because structural stuff with our house can be, I mean, it can it can be repaired. Debris is something that I don't want my kids getting into, my dog. Creel returned home Saturday for the first time and discovered several charcoal objects and fiberglass throughout her lawn. We can see, you know, the larger pieces, but if we had that much stuff in our yard, you know, a mile and a half away, uh, what are like the small, tiny chunks that we can't see? Officials are telling people not to pick up debris they see in their yards. The reason some pieces of equipment that blew up in the explosion contain asbestos installation. See that? It looks like a piece of charcoal. Over at Mike Tobias's house, he's also worried about the safety of his children after finding debris in his lawn. I'm very concerned about that because I can't let the kids go outside and play. I don't want, you know, we obviously don't want them touching any of the stuff that came from the plant. And I'm concerned if there's stuff on the roof, if there's stuff in the gutter. Rather than wait on her debris to get removed, Creel took matters into her own hands and got rid of it. I trust myself more than the people coming out to get it. And number two, you know, we're keeping our kids inside, but God forbid, you know, other animals or something come up into our yard. And again, if you do find debris on your property, you're encouraged not to touch it and allow officials to remove that. You can do so by using their helpline number. We have that information posted on our website at 12newsnow.com. Reporting here in Port Natchez, Jordan James, 12 News.